Good morning, Makos. Welcome to our very unusual May UTA. I wanted to give you a quick update on where we're at, what to expect during the UTA, and where we are going. So Homestead and the 42nd Fighter Wing are directly in line with our higher headquarters and Air Force Reserve Command's priorities of people, mission, and partners. And I wanted to talk about all three of those very briefly. So people, you and your families are on the forefront of every decision I make and the commanders make at, uh, at the 42nd. It's our sacred duty to protect you, to ensure you have the training and tools necessary to go into harm's way and come back safely to your families. We've also been charged to help protect the American people. We've sent nurses and technicians from our Mako medics to fight this invisible enemy on the East Coast, and they are doing exactly that. They're doing a phenomenal job protecting and helping the American people. Secondly, mission. We must preserve our combat capability because our enemies are not resting. There's a tremendous amount of instability around the world, and it's our job to be that stabilizing force. We continue to operate and sustain flight operations here locally, execute command and control capabilities, and project that combat readiness through our agile combat support packages necessary to generate aircraft at the wing level. And it takes everyone to do this. I've told you this several times. Do not let the proximity to the fight define your value to the fight. We're a lean organization as it is, and I need every single one of you. And finally, partners, we are all in this together as this virus does not discriminate. We're working with local and state officials to get the latest information in order to make the best decisions with our local communities so we can get back to some semblance of normalcy. So speaking of non-normal, what is this UTA going to look like? It's something we've never done before, but I'm excited to see how it works out. Your leadership team has put together a plan of both teleworking and in-garrison training. The training on base, although much smaller, is going to look familiar. Our teleworkers will have a virtual library of available courses and classes that will be taught online through self-paced or instructor-led sessions. All I ask for you is to do your best. I promise to do the same. Be patient, understand things that are not going to go as planned, adapt and make the best of what you can do. We'll gather feedback as to what we can do better as a command team to, to make your training more effective and, and improved overall. Which leads me to my last point. We may be doing this for the foreseeable future. At this stage, many of us are asking, when are we going to get back to work? What is that return going to look like? Well, these are all questions that I'm asking, uh, our government leaders are asking, public health officials, the chief of staff of the Air Force, the chief of the Air Force Reserve uh, are all carefully considering. While there's still more questions than answers about our own return to work at the 42nd Fighter Wing, what I can tell you with absolute certainty is that all decisions will be made for your safety as my top priority. We're definitely encouraged by recent media reports that these are good signs, and there are good signs emerging in many parts of the world as the cases begin to go down and some regions are lifting local restrictions. However, I need you to, to remain vigilant. Continue to do your part in slowing the spread of the coronavirus in our communities. Human nature sometimes tempts us to drop our guard when things appear to be going well and we don't see that immediate danger to our, ourselves or our family. So please resist that temptation. Chief Pluto and I want to emphasize that each of you has a role to play and vigilance has to remain high for the next few months. So while planning is still very much underway, the timing for our return to the workplace uh, is unknown, but it's going to be in, in line with national and local uh, government directors. We don't want to get too far ahead of the local conditions on the ground around Homestead in South Florida, as you have done an incredible, incredible job of keeping us safe and keeping the virus off the installation. So compared to lo the local population, we have an extremely low number of cases, and that's directly due to your actions. So thank you for that. People, missions, and partners, uh, those are our priorities going forward. Let's continue looking after uh, one another. We're going to beat this virus. I know we are. And I could not be more proud of your commitment and your leadership during these trying times. So Chief Bluto and I are here uh, for you, and we're keeping you close in our thoughts. Let's get out there. Let's have a great Mako UTA. Take care, everyone.